Welcome back. The Raptors ended their regular season last night against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Watch part two. Three. More players. There's Giannis from downtown. That's what I'm talking about, Giannis. That's what I'm talking about. Look at him. Yeah. Giannis Valanciunas hit the first three of his career last night, three of his 13 points on the night. In the third, Norman Powell drives the bucket to get the layup. He led the Raptors with 25 points. It was an easy-going game last night as neither DeMar DeRozan or LeBron James played. The Raps cruised to a 98-83 win and finished the season with 51 wins. Their first game of the playoffs is against the Milwaukee Bucks, Saturday at 5.30. Henwick with a shot. A deflected way wide to the net on the other side. Guard into the net. They score! A deflection in the slot. Leafs have the lead, 4-3. to three. Tonight's the night the playoffs start in Toronto. The Leafs are in Washington to take on the Capitals, and with the Raptors clinching for the fourth straight year, it's going to be a busy spring for sports fans in the city. This is the first time since 2002 that both Leafs and Raptors are in the postseason at the same time. Mayor John Tory declared Thursday Blue and White Day to celebrate the Leafs making the playoffs and was flanked by the mascots of both the Leafs and the Raptors during a flag-raising ceremony for both the city's teams. Puck drop for the Leafs' first game against the Capitals is tonight at 7. While the La Re Leafs and Raps are preparing for the playoffs, another Toronto team is struggling. The Blue Jays lost 2 to nothing yesterday against the Milwaukee Brewers last night, dropping to 1-7 on their season, their worst start in franchise history. Marcus Stroman pitched a complete game, the first one thrown by a Jays pitcher in over a year. Catcher Russell Martin also got his first hit of the year. The Jays will attempt to write their season tonight against the Baltimore Orioles. That's a look at sports. Time now for your three-day forecast. Danielle Furtado has the details. Thanks, Elliot. It's been a chilly and rainy couple of days, but it's warming right up this weekend, so get your barbecue ready. Here's how the next three days will look. Today, we have a high of 14 with a mix of sun and clouds, dropping to a clear 4 degrees this evening. Tomorrow, we head into the weekend with a sunny 14 degrees, dropping to 6 degrees and cloudy. Saturday, we have a high of 20 degrees with showers, dropping to 10 degrees with a chance of showers. You know what they say, April showers bring May flowers. Now back to Elliot in the newsroom. Thanks, Danielle. We leave you today with this. In Ohio, an eight-year-old boy decided he wanted a snack. He went on to driving himself and his four-year-old sister to his nearby McDonald's, where they were both craving a burger from the popular fast food place. A witness called when the police when they saw what was happening. The boy claimed that he learned how to drive by watching YouTube videos. The witness did say his boy obeyed all the traffic laws. No charges have been filed. That's all for today. I'm Elliot Williams. Remember, you can head to HumberNews.ca anytime for all the day's news and much more. And of course, you can also follow us on Twitter. Humber News is written and produced by students in the journalism program. Our technical crew are students from the broadcast, television, and videography program. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next time.